And today we are going to the doctor's surgery. Uh, I'd like to introduce you all to Dr. Mal Washer, who is a liberal backbencher. Hello, how are you? And a wonderful human being. Oh, well, and uh, we're in his office today uh, because this is the GP surgery of Parliament House. Well, so, look, uh, a lot of people come and see me, not everyone, but uh, yeah, I guess I have a following. And, uh, well, you're taking the it. pulse of the pulse. Yeah, it's a now? bit fast. I, can't, <laughs> I, I think is this excited to see me? Isn't it? <laughs> I can't okay. yeah. look at my watch, right? Uh -huh. But I mean, uh, I'd say it's about ninety now. That's because you're running around here, Catherine, yeah. not because you're excited to see me, which is <laughs> sad. You know, that's life. Yeah. It's just a bit dark, but I think that's because you run around here and you're excited to see me. I think that's all there is to it, right? That's the white coat syndrome, right? Not going to die, am I? <laughs> no, no, we'll check that later without the camera. Yeah, all right, sounds <laughs> good. Now talk to me a little bit about Craig Thompson because you've had a fair bit to say about yeah, this. Yeah, look, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I want to put it in perspective. Uh, I don't know Craig Thompson, basically. I'm going to say hello twice, I guess, or three times maybe. So I don't know the fellow at all. Um, I was paired, ironically, uh, when he had uh, went uh, with his wife, you know, when he was having a baby, yep. uh, only a few months back. But look, at the end of the day, this guy, uh, he's been under tremendous pressure, as you can see. Now, I'm not talking about, and I don't want to get into the issues, I'm a doc, right, about uh, whether that's justified or whether he's right yep. or wrong, yeah, guilty yeah, or innocent, course. that's yep. not my business. But because you sit in this house and you can't stop being a doc, even though I'm a politician as well, you do care about people. And uh, I don't know how this guy's handling all this pressure, you know, because his own mob, the Labor Party, and I, there are friends of mine over there too, but they booted him out, so he's been disowned there. Our mob, naturally, because uh, they want accountability, which is fair enough, it put the pro pressure on him, right? Which, you know, is, that's politics, that's yeah. the nature of the game. But at the same time, that we can't forget, even though that's all part of the way this business is played here, that's fairly combative and uh, this parliament being a hung parliament is more anxious and uh, and the mood is not as good as it would be if it wasn't a hung parliament, you understand, people are more uptight, anxious of it. Uh, well people play these points, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they and it's, uh, so it's more combative when this uh, situation happens and I haven't seen the mood ever so bad historically. At the same time we can't forget that this guy is obviously under a lot of pressure yep. when I saw him and, uh, and that can create emotional problems and we've had historically, uh, Catherine, without mentioning names, people who have done self-harm in this place, right? Yep. Now that's the last thing anyone would want to see on my side of politics or on the Labor Party or, or independence. Or anyone. No one wants to see that happen to yep. anyone, right? That's the last thing we want to see. Yep. So if you're a little anxious about that, I think we've got to just remind people, yeah, it's not impossible for that to happen. We've got to be careful how we manage this situation. That doesn't stop away, you know, take away the necessity for transparency and honesty and oh, all the things that, you know, part of it. But uh, So yeah. it's simple, Mal, isn't it, essentially? Craig Thompson, whatever he's done, he's a person. That's right. And uh, politics needs to be careful. Politicians are people. Yep. And Craig Thompson is a person. And we need to respect the person. Absolutely, and that doesn't mean that Craig doesn't have uh, have to go through the full no, no, no. You know, no. of the no. law and all the procedures committee, and that that's fine. That's not what I'm not trying to uh, stop. But let's just not forget that we're all human beings. There is a bit of empathy. There's a little bit of what you call caring for one another. That's important, and we've got to remember to do that in this place a bit too. And no, uh, Tony Abbott was out and about this morning, and he was asked, did he feel sympathy for Mr. Thompson? And and uh, I think Mr Abbott's response was, well, yes, but I also feel a bit of sympathy for the HSU membership. Sure. Uh, you know, but I think your message here is everyone just needs to tone this down a notch, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Look, at the end of the day, I think uh, we've got to achieve what uh, needs to be achieved. I think that we're getting to that point. And uh, look, at the end of the day, I don't want to see this guy come to you know, self-harm, as I say, and if we can prevent that. And also I'd like to remind people that even though this place looks like a battlefield, right, that behind the scenes there's the bulk of people on both sides of politics are nice people. They've got jobs to do and they can be seen to be abrasive and, uh, you know, very harsh. But they've got a heart as well, so, uh, mm. you know. Well, it's the big untold story in this building, isn't it? Yeah. That people are friends. Yes. Even though they go so down, sit to down to the chamber. The, yeah, down the chamber. Everyone's uh, beating the hell out of one. And, they go, <laughs> you know, and then they come out and, of course, have a... Yeah, a cup of coffee together or have a yarn together and that, and, and that's a, as it should be. Look, uh, it's like, I guess, a game of football. You go down and you beat the hell out of people down there in the ball and, uh, you know, 
But when the game's over, you might as well just go and you know, be friends again. Shake you know? hands and yeah. be friends. Yeah, yeah. well, that's good the man, Mal Washer. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us on Pulse TV.